Copy tea. Hello, welcome back. Now today we have got, I'm not sure what to make of this yet. It's from Lidl. It's their Chef Select, which some of them are not too bad, to be honest. Uh, but it's uh, one of these protein meals. They're all the thing at the minute, isn't they? All the rage, the, the proteins. Protein yogurts. We haven't even asked them. Just get a yogurt. Uh, protein meals and I don't know this one has got I don't know if that's good or not because I ain't got a clue I don't check protein I don't check calories uh, but there you go 28 grams of protein per pack it's £1.85 that's what it is chef select chicken tikka masala with chickpea pilau rice it's a gobful uh, chickpea pilau rice so it's chickpeas in with the pilau rice I imagine that's to add a bit more protein to it I don't know but it's 8.1 grams of fat. I don't know, is that high? That sounds high to me. Uh, so it's all right having the protein, but you've got the fat. And if you're bothered about the calories on it, 434 calories. Hmm, I don't know. Uh, but we're not bothered about all of that, are we? We're just bothered about, is the tikka masala any good? Does it taste good? I don't know. I'm going to ding it and let's see. £1.85, I don't know if I told you. Um, hmm. Well, I suppose that's quite cheap for a ready meal nowadays, isn't it? Because everything has just gone. So, uh, let's see. Uh, 185, 28 grams of protein here if that's your boat. Let's see. Is it any good? Right, all done. It's steaming up, so while it cools just a tad, I'll tell you what it says on the box, not a lot. Uh, tender chicken breast cooked in a creamy masala sauce, served with rice. Look at the amount of ingredients in it. Loads. Mm. Now, the only fault I've got with it up to now is it's not got a divider in the tray, which, yeah, fair enough, you're going to mix it anyway, but it says um, eight minutes to microwave it. After five minutes, peel the lid back, stir the curry, Stir the rice, but add a tablespoon of water to the rice. It's so hard to do that and not mix the rice in with the curry. They need a divider down the middle. Down, just straight down the middle. Straight down the middle. There's a song there, isn't there? Right, let's uh, let's see what it looks like then, shall we? I'll have to put some kitchen towel under it because it, it's red hot. Don't burn my little fingers. The rice don't look too bad. Chickpeas in there. Um, I don't know if that's spinach. Yeah, I think that's spinach from the smell of it. Uh, we'll have a look in a minute and get that off. There's your curry. Nice consistency to the curry. It's quite thick. Well, it... not a bad consistency and there's enough chicken in there to keep you interested. Let's see if that's spinach in the rice. Yes, it is. I've just had a look on the box. It's at the back there. Look, it's spinach in the rice. So let's go in on the rice then. Uh, it's cooked nice because you can squash the grains so uh, it does smell like basmati just uh, steamy glasses um, so let's get in and let's see what the rice is like shall we hmm not bad let's try a chickpea and see what they're like and I said chickpea hmm they're cooked okay as well it's not as good as when you cook your own I don't know if it's this way in all microwave rices because it's how they have to keep it and I, I don't know in the in the containers but because it's not as good as what you can cook yourself I would give it I'm going to give the rice an upperly actually not not a full thumbs up that would be home cooked um, and it's not an unsure because it's not bad so it gets an upperly uh, bare an upperly right let's try it's took me about four times. Every time I've tried to sniff this, my throat's gone. Um, let's try the curry. It's nice consistency, as you've seen. Look, look, it's not going through the fork, so it's it's nice and thick. And it does smell like a tikka masala. Hmm, I mean, I don't know. We'll have a look in a minute if they put cream in there as well, because that's what you normally have in a tikka masala, or you, you can get away with yoghurt. Um, but with it being protein, I don't know. 
but we'll have a look what they put. But let's see if it's any good. Let's see what the chicken's like. And then we'll get into it. Big wacky bits of chicken, look. Steaming as well, so this is going to burn me gob. Mm. Chicken's not bad. Uh, let's try the whole thing and then we'll get into it. Rice, sauce. I was going to say a little bit of chicken, but there's ain't no little bits in there. They're all great whacking bits. The chicken, by the way, I'm trying to break one in half so I can put the whole lot in. Uh, there we go. It is proper um, chicken breast chunks, it looks like it. But the, the, they are slightly, uh, slightly chewy. Not like really tender. Uh, here's a whole shebang. Get it in me gob and then we'll get on with it. Right, let's get into that then. Uh, rating first on that. It's going to have to be an unsure. The chicken is it's proper chunks, but there is some chewy bits to it. It's not the best, the chicken, not the best I've had in one of these curries. So that's a bit of a, not a downer, but a bit of a niggly point. And the rice is okay. The sauce is banging in texture, consistency, but it's slightly lacking. I don't know. It, it, that, that tikka flavour's there, but it's not really strong in the tikka flavour. Like, you know when you get a takeaway or a sit down and or even some ready meals, uh, which are half decent and it's a tikka, you've got the creaminess coming through and the spices and that tomato flavour. And I'm just getting... The tomato, it seems to be slightly lacking in the creaminess and there's not enough spice in there to give it a bit of oomph. It's very, very mild and I know tikka masala is mild. I would have liked a bit more spice in there. I don't mean heat wise, chilli wise, I mean, let's check if there's any cream in it. Yeah, it says half cream. I don't know what they mean by that. It's, it's not single half cream. There's milk in there as well. So I don't have to do a mixture of milk and cream to try and lower the calories slightly. It's all right. It's, it, I mean, I don't know for the money. It's not bad. I suppose... If you factor in the price, it's only 185 for the curry and the rice, then really I should be giving it a thumbs up because for that price, you, you can't expect like gourmet chicken tikka masala, can you? So, you know, it, 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 it's an unsure or a thumbs up for the whole thing. An unsure on its own for taste and that, but like I say, if, um, if you factor the price in, and I wouldn't mind eating it, I'd just... Put a bit of chilli sauce in to give it a bit of oomph. Yeah, a bit of oomph. Um, I'd do that. So there you go. That's that one done. It's it's an unsure or an upperly, uh, an up even. If, if uh, way out, I'm all over the place today. It's an unsure or an up, depending which way the wind blows, I suppose. it's um, It can be either or, which has probably not helped you out much. But 185, you can go and try it. It won't break the bank. And, you know, it's, it, you might think, yeah, it's tasty. Don't know what that is on about, but there you go. Thumbs up on the video, as always, it helps the channel. Let's let's have a push now. Get loads of thumbs up on here. Uh, drop your comments in below. Do you fancy trying this? It's not bad. Um, I'm not saying don't. It's worth a dabble for 185. Um, but don't subscribe if you're not. You know it's free. And if you want to help the channel out, um, we'll do more things with the members that comes in. The money goes back into the channel. And we're going to start doing a few more things for that. So three levels of membership. Uh, check it out. The link will be below in the description. And you get perks. You get money off Spice and Easy Packs. And we do members only streams as well now. So you won't miss out on anything. Hmm. But don't worry. If you're not bothered about that. Then we're always live on a Saturday. And I'll catch you later. Ta-ta.